<laughs> this 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 segment coming on, man, is, is spot on. If you know anybody who's been trading at Makola or who's a businesswoman generally, but especially traders at Makola, they must see this segment. I'm going to be introducing this man. This man, he has done so much. I don't have enough time to go into everything he has done. But a little bit I'll tell you is that he holds a law degree from the University of Ghana. And he has a master's degree in management and technology from the University of Wales, and so on and so on and so on. But what you should know is that he's a philanthropist and has offered many scholarships to the needy and people who are looking for such assistance. He's here today and he's going to be talking about the Makula Institute. Why? Later on, when he comes, he'll invite a guest and then the whole show. You see the essence, but trust me, put your hands together, show some love for Professor Joseph Jaffa. Welcome to the show, Prof. Oh, thank you so much. Well, you've done great, man. First of all, let me thank you, man. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> let me thank you. You are a living legend. Oh, you're, uh, you're making the me The KSM blush. show, a living <laughs> legend indeed. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful, wonderful. But um, I, I heard of the kinds of stuff that you were doing, um, and of course, uh, we, you've been introducing the other side of this great thing that you're doing. But this whole project on, on the, is it Makola Institute Makola and Makola Foundation. That's correct. Just give me a little bit about it before we... Well, uh, to look at uh, the genesis, um, I was invited to give a lecture at the Pentecost University College, mm. and um, the person who was supposed to introduce me unfortunately got stuck in traffic. Ooh. <laughs> and so they were looking for someone else to introduce me, and they saw a lady in the library. Madam Comfort, Mrs. Comfort Odru Nyako. Mm. And they invited her to introduce me. KSM, the way she introduced me, oh, the, the enthusiasm <laughs> and energy. <laughs> was she like a, a hidden fun? All the oh, time? it was like, like, oh. Very excited. Yes, so much so I didn't even know I was being introduced. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, this is me? Uh, yes. <laughs> and so when we, when we were done, I wanted to find out a little more about right. her. And I learned about her very, very powerful story. Hmm. Here was a lady who used to be in the marketplace, mm -hmm. in Makola, mm -hmm. had set up a very successful uh, business right in Makola. And then disaster struck. There was some litigation over where she was supposed to stay. And so the court in issued an injunction and boom, she couldn't do the business anymore. Wow. So she moved to the Kaneshi market. And there again, disaster struck. The whole, the place where she was, there was a fire somewhere else. Mm. And so the whole thing just totally bent down. Mm. And so she went through a very, very, very traumatic wow. process. I can imagine. And then somehow found the resilience to go back to school. Got her first degree. Got her master's degree in accounting mm. and finance. And so on that particular day, she had finished and was sitting down wondering what next to do when she was asked to introduce you. you. Wow. And so once I heard of the story, we started collaborating and we said, we must set up an institute so that the skills that she's learned, she can take it back and just simply help because the marketplace is so vital mm. to the economic development of Ghana. Mm. And so, that was uh, about two years ago, and so we set up, and she has just been phenomenal, wow. very hardworking. Uh, she's won several awards, um, set up uh, different workshops. Um, we've had lots of women testify to how impactful wow. the institute has been. Wow. 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 Uh, stay cool, for we've been meeting her, but, but let me, let's talk a little bit more. So, 
So what inspired that? Because so you got together with her, found out more about who she was, mm -hmm. having been a trader in both uh, Kaneshi and Makola. That's correct. Okay, and then mm -hmm. all the trauma she's been through. Yes. And then out of that, you you all decided that the, the, she set up the fund. What triggered your establishment of the Makola? Well, um, I tend to look for people whom I can really help, mm. and. Um, my story was that I broke my neck mm. on the third and fourth vertebrae column, and I probably should not have lived, mm. but was spared. If you look right over here and on this side, you'd see where they put the screws as they put a halo on my neck. Wow. And so I've been trying to give back in as little a way as possible. So that is what I they do. I see. But the particular energy, zeal, enthusiasm that she displayed, mm. introducing somebody, not herself, mm. was what um, I said, this wow. is a remarkable wow. lady. And um, my intuition was absolutely mm. dead on. Mm. She has been just tremendous. She started impacting all sorts of uh, marketplace women. And um, so, that's... Show some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> and um, 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 well, he said so much, you know, the person that introduced me or mentioned her first has said that she was doing this phenomenal uh, work with market women, teaching them some skills, some, some knowledge that they need to have to survive in this business. You know, sort of upgrading their, their natural skills. And so we're going to have a short commercial break. When we come back, I will give the professor the honor of introducing Miss, is it Mrs? Mrs. Mrs. Comfort Udro Nyakon. Just a lot, man. So we're pressing to the court. When we come back, she will be here with us. Stick around. We'll be right back. KSM show. We're back, we're back, and I'm sure you're all waiting to meet our next guest. And uh, Prof, do us the honor and introduce her for us. All oh, right, very <laughs> much so. And so it is with much um, honor that we want to welcome the CEO of Makola Institute and the president of the Makola Foundation, Mrs. Comfort Udru Nyako. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you. Oh, yes, so good sir. to have you. So good. Yeah. Oh, so good to be here also. Oh, the, well, the pleasure yes. is ours, you know. Mm -hmm. Somebody hinted me, you know, I have scars that go around and yes. tell me possible mm -hmm. guests, uh, people that I, I would want to meet, you know. Okay. So he told me a little bit about you. I said, why has she not been here? Mm, wow. <laughs> so well, we called you and apparently, the best. Yes, God yes, the best. yes. And apparently uh, Prof 2 has been in the works. Great. So you Great. mentioned that, yeah. you know, you're, you're together now. Great. And yeah. But congratulations to Thank the both you, of you. Okay. And, um, Thank you. Yeah. So you, you're a trader in the market? Yes. What were you selling? I was selling everything consumable, mm -hmm. which I termed household consumables, mm -hmm. edibles to toilet rolls. Mm. Everything edible, everything toilet roll. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you take in? What do you take out? <laughs> <laughs> so assorted toilet rolls. Mm -hmm. Under a company name Hapcon, Happy Corny, which has been shortened to Hapcon. Hapcon Company Limited. And I know my colleagues are watching me right away. Happy <laughs> Corny. Uh, Happy Corny, now Hapcon. Uh, Hapcon. Sh shorten Short, Hapcon yeah. Limited. Yeah. Yes. So you started at Kaneshi before you went to Makola? Or was that the I went to Makola Street. Okay. Okanshi Makola Okanshi. Street. Okay. Yeah. And, and what, what was the disaster there? What was the disaster? It was time for our annual independence celebration. So I had gone to 
all my big time suppliers for them to give me goods because um, I have an all I have a lot of customers who come around mm -hmm. to buy from all over Ghana. Mm. So I get up at 3 a.m. and then by 4 a.m. my stores are opened to serve my customers, wow. those from the hinterlands. Mm -hmm. And then one day I was there when I just opened the shop. By 9 a.m. I had already sold 10,000 Ghana cities mm. worth of goods. And then a uh, court bailiffs with some security personnel that I don't want to mention their names just entered my shop. The security personnel had guns, mm. then with some two Alsatian dogs, and then with court bailiffs holding a paper that uh, the place I was uh, doing my business belonged to someone, and then uh, they had been sent by the courts to give me an hour to evacuate all my wares wow. outside for them to lock up. And, and, and so, so then, before then, you hadn't heard anything nothing about them? Nothing at all. Nothing. I, I didn't know them. I hadn't had any letter from them. So, by the paper they were holding from, mm -hmm. they claiming mm -hmm. that they brought the paper from the court, I asked, can I have a look at them? Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the answer the bailiffs gave me. Kwe, kwe, kakehale, kakehale, makolabie, kwe, meneme, amenu brofo, enye ekane, enye ekane, to wait. Don't give it to her. Don't give it to her. Mm -hmm. As for Makola people, they don't understand mm -hmm. English. Yeah. So they can't, can't even read. read. Then that m made me a bit sad. And so that prompted me, oh, so that's that how people see Makola mm -hmm. people? Mm -hmm. I have been here mm -hmm. uh, already. Before then, I was in the former sector and I had some former sector skills. But coming to Makola had given me more uh, skillful, mm -hmm. uh, the practical. The practical skills. Yeah. That if I, one could combine the formal and then the informal sector uh, skills, I think one could go places. But people don't know. So this woman had the audacity to tell me that because I'm a Makola woman, can't I can't read, read and so she should do what he's doing to me. And so that started, the, for me, that started the Makola Institute. Wow. I wanted the whole world to know that even if you are in the former sector, mm. you need the Macola skills mm. to grow your business. Show some love. Right? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you are in the former sector, you need the Macola skills to grow your business. Mm. And people do not know what the Macola skills are. And so, therefore, there should be an institute that could inculcate the, Macola, uh, the former skills to the Macola woman mm. and then tell the former sector mm -hmm. personnel or staff or everybody working under the former sector that they also need the macular skills. Mm -hmm. So we are blending macular skills and then the formal, scientific or scientific, formal yeah. skills yeah, to wow. grow our businesses. Wow. And so that is what we are doing now at the Nasford University College. Mm -hmm. We have had a collaboration with them. So we have termed the entrepreneurial uh, uh, department mm -hmm. where we offer entrepreneurial skills mm. using scientific that's the, the book skills and then the practical skills that's the market skills combining them and uh, it's an eye for everybody to come and wow. see and then so this, shine their eyes this is, as to how to yeah. grow your business wow yes. so this was inspired by that one statement that one statement kakehale don't give it to her makola be akwe i'm a new bro wow it, in wow. fact it, it pierced me mm -hmm. to the bone mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. what this man doesn't know what he's talking mm. about makola be i'm a new bro yeah you can say that but come to makola where we calculate i mean Quantum of goose using our natural with that calculator. We with that calculator we are able to even calculate and then price and then you check on your own and you realize that we are this correct. Way. You give us any amount, we are able to change it mm. to you. You you ask us to even talk to uh, tax officials, these government people who come around to ask for taxes and uh, our um, Revenue collectors, mm -hmm. yeah, these mm -hmm. we are able to face them and then we are able to explain our side of the stories to them for them to understand. And so, you just can't come in and say, yeah. we, we don't I'm understand English, yeah. I'm a new bro. Yeah. And so, you yeah. should come in at yeah. any time yeah. to uh, 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 worry their business. Prof, your quick reaction to that there is much that the mm. corporate world mm. can learn from Makola, mm. and so. And then there's much that the operators in Makola mm -hmm. can, can learn from, from the corporate, corporate world. So we've taken this sort of dual perspective 
So, uh, for example, the money centricity that is associated with the uh, operators in the marketplace can be well learned by the corporate mm. environment mm. And, um, and vice versa. And so part of what we're trying to do is to use this dual perspective. Mm. And a lot of times, as uh, Madam Comfort uh, suggested, uh, there's a certain type of stigma mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. is associated with, mm -hmm. you know, people at the market women. Whereas when yeah. you look at it, the sort of cognitive mental strength that mm -hmm. they have mm -hmm. and that they exhibit on a continual basis sit in the sun mm -hmm. for one day and let the sun beat on you and then you can really appreciate the sort of resilience. And so we have made it for incredibly talented women in the marketplace have. And as we keep thinking, the marketplace is the engine of economic growth mm. in Ghana. Mm. And so as Madam Comfort clearly exhibits, there is mm -hmm. so much that we can learn from the marketplace. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. So, but a little bit more about the institute. So, how? So, who who is in there? How can people people watching now who are very excited about it? What? Yeah. We know our target group, they have mm -hmm. no time to uh, I mean, spare. Mm -hmm. And so we have made it four sessions, okay. only four sessions and you are done. Exposing you to basic financial management skills. Mm -hmm. The most prudent way of sourcing for financing, the most prudent way of applying what you have gotten in the form of financing. Mm -hmm. And then the most prudent way of using your profit. That is all about it basic business growth principles. Mm -hmm. And so, what are the most prudent ways of sourcing for finances? Is it the bank, bank loan? Or uh, self -sa uh, personal savings? Or family and other relatives helping you? Which one do you think is the most prudent? Way? Even if you go to the bank, there are so many banks mm -hmm. with so many interest mm -hmm. uh, rates. Yeah. So which one are you picking? So who is the most prudent way? Then it comes to the application of the funds that you've gotten. Is that your personal saving? Even if it gets, uh, you, 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 it gets waste, wasted away in the business, you are going to be loved at. I went to Makola with my own money. But when disaster struck and I, I had a downturn in business, I had people calling me different names. Despite the fact I didn't go to them for funds to start my business, they, in fact, insulted me and did all sorts of uh, hurting things against me. In the same way, if you go to the bank for loans, you must know what to, to uh, mm -hmm. learn. Mm -hmm. You have gone for a loan. The one applying for the loan, you yourself, you don't know how to work bank interest, mm -hmm. uh, loan interest, mm -hmm. but you have gone for a loan. And you, you don't know the implications associated with uh, uh, inability to pay. And so all these things you are exposed, we expose yeah. them to you. And then the profit that you make, that's what Prof, Prof said, giving back to society. Mm -hmm. You plow back some into mm -hmm. the business mm -hmm. and then whatever is left, you also think of your mm. Are they uh, successful in, in raising loans and grants? Are they, how, what's the success rate? Because finance is so tight. Are they able to learn and be able to? In fact, so far, those that we have met they, today, some of them met Prof personally and they testified. Wow. They were like, we've done business so many years, never have I gone all to the bank to ask for my bank statement, to do basic bank reconciliation. That these are the things we're exposing them to. Mm -hmm. Basic bank even reconciliation. In, even inventory. Mm -hmm. Yes, to know mm -hmm. where lapses are on the bank mm -hmm. statement for corrections to be made. Mm -hmm. And some of them even, most of them don't even get time to visit their warehouses. Mm -hmm. So inventory control systems. We expose them to all, all these things. Yeah, and I think yeah, they yeah. are very happy now. Mm -hmm. And then the part of them shine your eyes principles. You are selling. What is the uh, perfect way of uh, taking custody of the cash that you sold? Some of them put them in uh, polythene bags and then have trust so much and leave them around mm -hmm. and visit other places. Mm -hmm. And we have been told that, no, as for money, that. we don't play with money. See, can't pair off. That's why Sika. I call shine your eyes. Shine your eyes. You can't pay off. Mm -hmm. You go to the bank and you are at the bank with the teller 
Why, then you leave your money and you go for outside to receive a call, a phone call. And you expect <laughs> that uh, you everything come back, is okay. everything is yeah, okay. Yeah. Anybody at all can do their things to the money. Yeah, yeah. And so there's a car and pair of the sign of high principle because mm -hmm. car and pair of. <laughs> <laughs> So when you say shine your eye, you respond. Shine your eyes. Shine your eyes. I have been there before. Yeah. 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 There were times I was calling for lunch from Country Kitchen to Makola. Yeah, for me, for myself. And, and now these times I don't get it that way because my business has. Yeah. Collapsed mm -hmm. totally, mm -hmm. and the little that I took to Kaneshi was burnt by fire. Mm -hmm. And so, after staying home for two years, asking for I mean, people to sympathize with me, I realized I had done enough and I must do something better yes, to myself. Yeah. So, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, found myself in, in the classroom, Regent University, where I went to read accounting with information systems. And then I completed 2014 with a first class. Wow. <laughs> To get a first class in a private university is not easy because yeah. it's affiliated to the uh, Kwame Nkrumah University, yeah. no, Kwame Nkrumah Kwame university Kwame. Okay. of Science and Technology. Okay. So my first class is a solid one. And then after the 2014 first class, I said, no, I must go out to Gimpa. I must go out to UPSA. I must go out to the tertiary institutions to inculcate entrepreneurial skills into these students. Mm. And how can I go if I don't know much myself? Mm. So I need to top it up. Mm -hmm. And so I went to Pentecost University Graduate School where they have had a collaboration with the Beckinghamshire New University in London, UK. And then they, they, they rolled out the uh, International Accounting and Finance Program. Mm -hmm. And I opted for that and I completed in 2016. So now I have my first degree, my second degree. And so the confidence has come. That's why I'm I, here I, speaking I, English to care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel your confidence. Yes. I'm sure the same thing you felt when yes. you told yes. me. Yes, yes. <laughs> now I'm asking all business operators. Yes. The time is due. Okay. You are a man, you are a woman, you are a young girl. Come to Nasford University College where we have the collaboration, a serene atmosphere, a very beautiful edifice for you to come and study under air conditioning and very soft surface. <laughs> <laughs> Only for four sessions. Is there, there a number they can call that you know if they yes. yeah if you can zero five seven five seven five five six six four okay so well the number she mentioned is on the screen right now okay. you can see it please pick up the phone and dial it and um go and learn learn skills i call it academic exercise academic exercise yes you do exercise to your body yes. i mean but you have to do some academic exercise, exercise. for your brain yeah uh, knowledge is not in one person's domain yeah but you come we share and then you all you learn something from me i learn something fantastic from you. show yeah. some love man give some love <laughs> well, well, and uh at comfort Thank you so much. Thank you, Tito, so much. I mean, I feel so fulfilled, you know. Oh. And I like your energy levels, man. It's inspiring. Yes. Oh, man. I wish you could give us the whole day. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> More to talk about. More. Well, you come back. Okay. But I want you to come back with some of those who have passed through the great, school great. so that they themselves will testify great. to get more people great. to learn their skills. Yeah. Thank All you right. So much. Show them some love one more time. <laughs> All right. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. KSM Show.